hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET how to bind data from database into a drop down list control using a linked SQL class and here we got the output the employee name is binded to this drop down list control let's check the employee name table also so you have the employee table, the e name, Charan and Jack is binded to this drop down list control using link SQL. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new ASP.NET project. Go to file, new project. And from the templates, I'm choosing ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework 4.6.1. The application name is drop down list bind link SQL. Click OK. And from the ASP.NET templates, I'm choosing empty. Click OK. And here the project is successfully created. Let's open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm adding one web form page. Right click the project name. Add new item, web form. Drop down list bind, add. And here we got the source page of the drop down list bind.aspx page. Now in this form tag I am adding send tag h1 bind drop down list from database h2 using link SQL horizontal line after the horizontal line I am adding a drop down list control open toolbox drop down list control and here we got the drop down list control that's it we have done the designing part now let's add a database in the server explorer open that one data connections right click that one to add a connection I'm adding a SQL server name after adding a SQL server name I'm selecting the database name sample DB is my user database I'm selecting that one test connection is succeeded okay okay And here notice the sample db.dbo is added under data connections. After adding the database to the data connections, let's create a link SQL class in the project. Right click the project name, add a new item. From Visual C Sharp, choose the data option. I'm choosing link to SQL classes. The data class is a drop down data classes dot dbml add and here we got the data class now let's open server explorer again expand this user sample db dot dbo notice we got the objects of this sample db tables views store procedures functions etc i'm expanding the tables folder for this example, I'm selecting the employee table. Just grab and drop on the data classes. See here we got the employee table here. And this employee table contains three columns ID, ename, and email. I want to bind the ename, employee name, into the drop down list control. So switch to the drop down list source page right click 
view code in the page load event I'm adding drop down list see here the drop down data classes data context class add that one create an object is equals to new drop down data classes data context drop down list control dot data source is equals to I'm adding the DC which is a data context object dot the table name is a EMPS dot to list method but in the EMP table we have three columns I want to bind only e name drop down list dot data text field the text field is a e name drop down list one dot data value field in this data value field I am adding the ID column auto generate column it will double quotes ID let's bind the drop down list control drop down list one dot data bind method that's it we have binded the employee name in the drop down list control using link SQL class let's check the results on the browser Google Chrome and here we got the output the employee name is binded to this drop down list control let's check the employee name table also see so here the employee table the a name Charan and Jack is binded to this drop down list control using link SQL that's it